In the previous video, we were able to submit a form to the action method that handles the HTTP POST request. But we encountered one problem where the category ID here is not actually submitted and remains zero. So in this video, let's resolve that problem. And to resolve it, we have to think about why the category ID is zero. Let's go to the edit view here. And we can see that we have the input for the name, we have input for the description, and for both of the views, we do see data in the edit action method. But we don't have a field here that stores the category ID. And that's why when the user clicks on the submit button, the ID is not submitted back to the controller action method. And therefore, the controller action method cannot receive that ID. So in order to solve that problem, we can add a field in the form that keeps category ID. But you may say that if we do that, the user will see the ID on the form, and that's not actually what we want. At least it doesn't look good. But we can use a hidden field. A hidden field will still be submitted when the user click on the submit button, but it will be hidden to the view of the user. So we can just put it on the top or on the bottom or anywhere. It's hidden anyways. So here we can specify the type of the field as hidden. And again here, we need to specify the value of the ID. And you can think about what tag helper we can use for this. It is the ASP4 tag helper. And here, just use category ID. And that is it. Now, we can set a breakpoint here and run the application again. Now, let's go to category and select the first one again. And let's change the category description to beverage category, for example. And click on save. But now, let's hover the mouse over this object here. And now you can see the category ID is properly submitted. And we can see the change of description. Now let's just run the application. Now it comes back to the categories page here, or categories view here. And we don't see this description change. I found that we have a problem in the update category method in the repository, where we use the get category by ID method that returns a copy of the category and then we update it but because this is a different instance from the instance that we stored over here so therefore it won't actually update the category in the memory so instead of using the get category by id method let's actually use this link query here to help us to actually get the category in the map data store so let's change it to this one, and then let's run the application. So this time, I'm not going to run debug. Hopefully, it will just run without any problem. So let's go to categories, and let's this time change the second one. And we're going to say bakery category. Click on the save button. And now we are redirected to the category list, and we can see that description is changed. Let's click on edit button again and you can see that everything is running correctly and that's what i want to cover in this video i will see you in the next one